2025 will change the battlefield forever. The U.S. is deploying weapons so advanced, they make today's tech look outdated. From drone warplanes to stealth subs and laser ships, each one is a leap forward. And the final weapon is a monster. Let's start with number 14, the U.S. CG Argus. This is a brand new Heritage class cutter joining the U.S. Coast Guard fleet in 2025. It's 360 feet long and built for high endurance missions, capable of patrolling thousands of miles with a top speed of 24.5 knots. Argus can stay at sea for extended periods, covering up to 10,200 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 14 knots. With a crew of 126, it carries a powerful mix of weapons, including a 57mm main gun, a 25mm cannon, and multiple 50 caliber machine guns. It's also equipped with the Saab Sea Giraffe radar and the advanced NULK electronic decoy system, giving it strong defense against missile threats. This cutter is designed to protect U.S. coastlines, intercept threats, and operate deep into contested waters. Next up at number 13 is the U.S. Pierre, a lightning-fast independence-class littoral combat ship entering service in 2025. At 418 feet long, this warship is built for speed, hitting up to 47 knots, making it one of the fastest in the Navy. It's designed for coastal warfare and shallow water missions, with a range of 4,300 nautical miles while cruising at 20 knots. The ship houses a crew of around 75 to 90 and is armed with a 57mm Mook 110 gun, Seer AM missile launcher, and four 50 caliber machine guns. What makes it even more versatile is its ability to carry two H-60R or M-60S Seahawk helicopters, giving it eyes and strike power in the sky. Its propulsion system combines gas turbines, diesel engines, and water jets, giving it unmatched agility in close quarters. The U.S. Pierre is a fast response, multi-role platform built for the new age of naval combat. At number 12, we have the U.S. Cleveland, a Freedom-class, littoral combat ship made for rapid, multi-mission operations. This 387.6-foot-long vessel can move at speeds over 40 knots and is designed to fight in coastal waters. It carries a crew of approximately 90 to 105 and is armed to the teeth, featuring a 57mm Mook 110 main gun, a Mach 49 launcher for RIM-116 missiles, 30mm Mach 44 cannons, and AGM-114 Litters Hellfire missiles. But what really sets the Cleveland apart is its 150 kilowatt high energy laser, capable of disabling enemy drones and boats in seconds. It also operates MH-60R S Seahawk helicopters and MQ-8 Fire Scout drones for extended air support. This ship blends raw firepower, high speed, and future tech, making it a deadly force in close-range sea battles. Now at number 11, meet Manfires, the multi-azimuth defense fast intercept round engagement system. This is not a ship or a plane. It's a smart naval defense weapon designed to shoot down threats like incoming missiles, rockets, and drones. Unlike standard rounds, Madfire's projectiles are guided and can correct their path in real time. It doesn't need a crew to operate directly and is loaded into medium caliber naval guns like the 57 mm It has short range coverage but incredibly fast reaction time. Its advanced active homing radar helps it lock onto multiple incoming threats from different directions at once. Madfires turns every ship it's mounted on into a smart shield, capable of defending itself without relying on large, expensive missile systems. Coming in at number 10 is the General Atomics Mojave, a powerful unmanned aerial vehicle designed for short takeoff and landing operations. This drone is 30 feet long and can fly for over 20 hours without needing to refuel. It's completely unmanned and built for rugged environments, capable of being deployed by a C-130 transport plane and set up by a four-person team in just 1.5 hours. Mojave can carry up to 16 AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, making it one of the most heavily armed drones in its class. It's powered by a Rolls-Royce M250 turboprop engine in a pusher configuration, allowing for better airflow and improved efficiency. Designed for reconnaissance, close air support, and armed overwatch, the Mojave gives commanders an eye in the sky and a missile-ready wingman anywhere in the world. At number 9, we have the EA-18G Growler Block 3, the U.S. Navy's most advanced electronic attack aircraft. This jet is 60.3 feet long and can reach speeds up to Mach 1.6. It has a maximum range of 976 miles and carries a two-person crew. 
Armed with air-to-air -air missiles and advanced electronic warfare pods, the Growler's main mission is to jam enemy radar and communication systems. The Block 3 upgrade includes the powerful next-generation jammer, which can disrupt targets with more precision and speed. It also features conformal fuel tanks that increase its range without adding drag. Built on the Super Hornet platform, the Growler Block 3 is designed to escort strike aircraft into heavily defended airspace and blind enemy defenses before they can even react. Number 8 is the U.S. Louis A. Wilson Jr., a cutting-edge Flight 3 Arleigh Burke class destroyer. Measuring 513 feet in length and reaching speeds of 31 knots, this ship is a true multi-mission warfighter. It carries a crew of approximately 380 and is equipped with a 5-inch MiG-45 naval gun, phalanx close-in weapon system, 96 vertical launch system cells, and Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes. One of its biggest upgrades is the SPY-6 air and missile defense radar, capable of tracking multiple threats at once with pinpoint accuracy. It also supports two Ang-60 R Seahawk helicopters, giving it enhanced anti-submarine and surface warfare capabilities. Built for sea dominance, the Wilson Jr. blends heavy firepower, advanced sensors, and air support in one deadly package. Next to number 7 is the U.S. Harvey C. Barnum Jr., another Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, but a Flight IA variant. Just like its Flight 3 counterpart, it measures 513 feet in length, reaches speeds of 31 knots, and hosts a crew of 380. It features a 5-inch MiG-45 gun, 96 VDAW cells for missiles, a full-length CI S, and triple torpedo tubes. But what sets the Barnum Jr. apart is its aviation deck a double hangar with a dedicated helipad for improved helicopter operations. Its propulsion system includes Ford General Electric LM-2000, 500 gas turbines, giving it reliable and powerful mobility across long missions. While slightly older in design than Flight 3, the Barnum Jr. is still a frontline destroyer equipped for air, surface, and undersea warfare. Number 6 is the U.S. Pugin Vol, a massive America-class amphibious assault ship built to carry both aircraft and marines into the heart of the fight. At 844 feet long and moving at over 22 knots, this floating fortress carries a crew of approximately 1,200 along with 1,800 marines. It is armed with RAM, ESM, Phalanx CI GLVS, and heavy machine guns for layered defense. Its radar suite includes the advanced and slashed SPY-6 system for full-spectrum awareness. But its real strength lies in the aircraft it supports. Bukinville can operate F-35B stealth fighters, MV-22B Ospreys, CH-53 heavy lift helicopters, and AW-1Z Viper attack choppers. This ship is designed to launch full-scale amphibious operations, combining sea power, air power, and troop deployment in one devastating package. At number 5 is the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, the U.S. Navy's first carrier-based unmanned aerial refueling drone. It's 51 feet long and built to fly at subsonic speeds, covering distances up to 500 nautical miles without a pilot on board. The Stingray is powered by stealth-friendly design features like a V-tail and a flush-mounted engine inlet, making it hard to detect on radar. Its main role is to refuel Navy fighter jets mid-air, extending their strike range deep into enemy territory. But this drone does more than carry fuel. It also supports limited strike missions using the deadly AGM-158 CLRASM, giving it an offensive edge when needed. Built to operate from aircraft carriers, the MQ-25 is a force multiplier for every carrier air wing it joins. Number 4 brings us underwater with the U.S. Massachusetts, a Virginia-class nuclear-powered attack submarine. It's 377 feet long and powered by a nuclear reactor that gives it unlimited range beneath the ocean. This stealth submarine reaches speeds over 25 knots and carries a crew of 135, including 15 officers and 120 enlisted personnel. It is armed with 12 vertical launch system tubes and 4 torpedo tubes that fire MiG-48 ADCAP torpedoes. It also launches Tomahawk cruise missiles for deep strike missions. Built with advanced acoustic quieting and sensors, the Massachusetts can patrol enemy waters silently track ships and subs, and strike without warning. It's a vital tool for sea control, intelligence gathering, and long-range precision attacks. At number 3 is the U.S. Iowa, another Virginia-class attack submarine, but this one brings extended endurance. Also 377 feet long and capable of over 25 knots, 
The Iowa is powered by the highly efficient S9G nuclear reactor, allowing it to remain submerged for up to three months. It houses a crew of 135 and carries 12 vertical launch tubes and four torpedo tubes. With its BGM-109 Tomahawk missiles and advanced sonar capabilities, the Iowa is built for stealth attacks on sea and land targets. This submarine is designed for silent patrols in contested zones, where it can strike critical infrastructure without ever being detected. Number two is the U.S. Idaho, one of the most advanced submarines ever built. Like the others in the class, it's 377 feet long and nuclear-powered, giving it unlimited underwater range and top speeds over 25 knots. With a crew of 135, it features 12 vertical launch tubes and four torpedo tubes, capable of launching BGM-100 and 9 Tomahawk missiles at targets from hundreds of miles away. What makes Idaho special is its step. This sub is rated to dive beyond 800 feet, making it harder to detect and ideal for deep ocean missions. Whether it's hunting enemy ships or delivering strategic strikes, the Idaho is a silent powerhouse below the waves. Topping the list at number one is the U.S. John F. Kennedy, the second Gerald R. Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, and the most advanced warship ever built. It's a floating city at 1,106 feet long, powered by twin nuclear reactors that give it unlimited range and over 30 knots of speed. With a crew of 4,660, it carries up to 90 aircraft, including F-35CS, EA-18GS, and MQ-25 drones. It features EMALS, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, which launches aircraft faster, quieter, and with less wear than steam systems. It's also equipped with N-slashed SPY-3 and N-slashed SPY-6 radar systems for unmatched battlefield awareness. Armed with RAM, ESSM, and Felling CIGOS, the U.S. John F. Kennedy is a fortress of air power, capable of dominating any ocean it enters. The U.S. is entering a new era of unstoppable military power, and this is just the beginning. Subscribe now and don't forget to like, share, and comment for more next-gen defense reveals.